Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? The thing is that I got a lot of requests from students across the country and they were completely continuously telling me to make a video in complete English because some of my brothers and sisters they live in South India so a lot of students were saying to make a video in complete English so here we are. Today we are going to decode IIT JEE and we are going to discuss the weightage and strategy for JEE. So let's get started. Maths, Chemistry, Physics. Starting with Mathematics, Calculus. Four questions, 16 marks. Complex and quadratic, two to three questions, eight to 12 marks. Matrices and determinants. One question would be simple. One question would be of a bit decent level. So two questions, eight marks. Coordinate geometry, the big, the big, big topic. Five questions, 20 marks. LCD limits, continuity, differentiability. Three to four questions, 12 to 16 marks. 3D geometry, two questions, eight marks. Sets, relations, functions and binomial theorem. One question would be from sets relations, one would be from BT, binomial theorem. Two questions, eight marks. Sequence and series, uh, comparatively simpler topic. One question, four marks. Permutation, combination, very, very, very important topic. One question, four marks. Differential equation, one question, four marks. And statistics, dynamics, one question, four marks. Now get, and let's get to chemistry, okay? So, starting with transition elements and coordination compounds, coordination chemistry, three question, 12 marks. Big topic, important topic, okay? Periodicity, three questions. Out of three, two questions are going to be definitely very simple. They are going to be on a lighter note and one question is going to be bit difficult. So three questions, 12 marks. Thermo and gaseous. This thermodynamics is a very important and very interesting topic because it is common in 11th and 12th. There's just a difference of sign conventions between world and internal energy. Rest all is same. And it is equally important in physics as well as in chemistry. So you have to be uh, you know, very attentive while you learn thermodynamics, okay? Atomic structure, two questions, eight marks, equilibrium. It consists of both ionic and chemical equilibrium. It would be two to three questions, eight to 12 marks. Solid state and surface, surface chemistry, two questions, eight marks. Nuclear chemistry, two questions, eight marks. Mole concept, one question, four marks. Redox, one question, four mark. Chemical kinetics, one question, four marks. Solutions and colligative properties, theoretical topic, one question, four marks. After that, organic chemistry. I have directly written organic chemistry, six to seven question, 24 to 28 marks because it is going to have equal weightage of every topic. Let's say aldehyde, ketone, and whatever, GOC, hydrocarbons, all are nearly equally weighted, okay? Let's get on to physics, modern physics and thermodynamics. I considered them to be the deciding factor in the physics okay why why i'm saying so because the thing is that 90 percent of student no mechanics but only 20 percent of students are comfortable in these topics okay so three five questions 20 marks three to four questions 12 marks optics two to three questions <coughs> current electricity two question eight marks electrostatics three question 12 marks units and dimensions kinematics one question each nlm work power energy one question each rotation center of mass Two questions, eight marks. Gravitation, one question, four marks. After that, solids and fluids. Solids and fluids means the topic of stress strain, bulk properties of matter and fluids. Two question, eight mark. EMIAC, one question, four mark. SHM wave, two question, eight mark. This is all about weightage. Now I'm going to discuss a very important point, okay? See, the thing is that <clears throat> it's going to be a long journey. It's two years, okay? It's not going to be a T20 match. It's going to be a test match. So you have to train yourself, you have to train your brain accordingly. Here are some very important, very mandatory points. This is during the preparation, you have to keep some points in your brain. First thing is cover the syllabus horizontally, not vertically. That means you have to cover a wide number of topics rather than getting into depth in only one topic. This is a very important point because most of the times what happens is that students, they feel comfortable in one topic and they just keep on practicing that topic. So that's not going to help you. It might, there might be a case that you don't even, you won't even get a question from that topic. Or you might get one question and you have practiced thousands of questions. So that makes no sense. After that, concept is to numerical ratio should be 1 is to 5. Means if you have a concept, you should at least try five different type of numericals. Now it completely depends upon the student. Ideally, this ratio should be 1 is to 5. Maintain short notes. This is very important that if you have a topic of, let's say, 50 pages, you should have short notes of five pages so that you can revise it quickly at any time. 80% of paper is set from 20% content. Remember this point. This is very important that the main crux, the main important points, they are only 20% of the whole syllabus. And you have to keep this 20% in front of your eyes very quickly. Okay, very 
means <coughs> after come after certain amount of time you should keep on revising these points you should keep on brushing up these concepts during the paper quick overview of pcm whenever you solve a test whenever you solve a paper or even you are writing for jwe okay the pattern should be first of all you should uh, have an overview for the paper pcm you should give at least 5 minutes to read the whole paper and you should decide in your brain that okay this these are the questions that i am going to attempt first simplest question first go for the easiest question because that's going to give you marks and that's going to boost your confidence write data while reading this is very important as you read the numerical just write the data so it's going to save your time attempt chemistry first i do this thing i used to do this thing because chemistry consists of lot of theoretical topics so it's going to give you uh, more number of questions in you know comparatively lesser time recheck the obvious and consider 10% of silly mistakes this is very important point that if you get any question and you feel that okay the answer is d so after 10 minutes just give another thought to that question and mind this point that no matter how how bright student you are you are going to make 10% of silly mistakes so plan your things accordingly so 